and welcome back to the channel which does for gaming what putting brown sauce does for cheese on toast Ugh. horrible uh, I'm not in a very good mood and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute but first we're going to get into this uh, yeah. Get through this bit first. Come, let's put that. Oh my god. There we go. Please. Don't adjust your monitors. I really am. This ugly. There we go. Yay! There's me. You wait here. Get me. Now, the girl, is she alive? What girl? I don't know no girl. Focus <laughs> right here, right here. And I'll pop your goddamn knee off. The girl. She's alive. She's David's newest pet. Where? Now you're gonna mark it on the map, and it better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you, I ain't lying. I ain't. <laughs> You man, he told you what you wanted. I ain't telling you shit. That's all right. Quite good. Quite all right. I believe it. Oh, no wait. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Come on. Let's go. Stop. I warned you. Really? So are you. Right there. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it! I'll play along. <laughs> that is creepy, Emily. What'd you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? <laughs> what the hell is that? She would have turned by now. It can't be real. Looks pretty fucking real to me. I'm going to get this capture card working so it's. Uh... It's all right. What's wrong with these people? What? Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Where you going, Ellie? It's my No, it's just blocked. I didn't see that <laughs> I need a gun. Shall I do? Let's see if there's anything okay. about it. I can do this. Uh, yeah. I'm in a bad mood. I'm going to tell you why I'm in a bad mood. It's because of this tweet. Insert tweet. With video editing software. As you can see, the tweet was made by um, 
one pretty disgusting human being called Clementine Ford who is I've not done much research on her but from um, and I don't need to if that tweet is typical of what she says I mean she's what a vile human being Tells him enough. This girl killed our men. Now she's infected. Let's hope it doesn't, you know, affect any male members of the family. Yeah. What a, what a disgusting thing to say. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Clementine Ford. An absolute rabid feminist, um, as you can probably tell. Australian. Not that nationality has got anything to do with it. But, uh, well, as you can probably tell, she's pretty disgusting. Clementine Ford, she's a rabid feminist. She wants men put into cages and stuff, or was that Julie Bindle? Listen, Clementine, if you want to live on a planet with no men, absolutely fine by me, it's just going to mean you're going to have to tell some of your women for to drive some bin lorries and empty the bins. You have to tell your women folk to go and work down some sewers, build some houses, build some shops, and do all the rest of it. You know, I'm not saying that women aren't willing to do that, but... But you're gonna have to do some of the more disgusting jobs, or you're gonna have to ask your women for to do some of the more disgusting jobs that men do. You see anything over there? Hello? <laughs> and then let's see if I get. Well, good looking reproducing, by the way. Because within a generation, you'll all be, you know, human race will be extinct. So, well done, Clem. Well done. can't force women into doing things that they don't want to do. If there aren't enough women in STEM fields or in STEM subjects, it's off. But there are some women. You can't force them. Which is apparently what you want to do. You asshole. See Clementine, I don't know, but the more shit comes out your ass, or the more shit comes out your mouth, and there I swore it. You made me swear. And I never normally swear, don't I? Hey? Mm. Oh, that's 
Oh. There you go, see? Even Mr. Jones agrees with me. <laughs> Should be Mrs. Jones were crikey alright. So it's like a mill wall docker. Anyway, let's kill some men. That clan. You repulsive piece of shit. They're everywhere. Right, so are we? Which way? Which way? I've done this before, up here. Let's take him by surprise. <laughs> Don't do that noise. I don't want to pay for nothing. It's all free. I don't know where I'm going now. There's another dude somewhere around here. The 70s and 80s were called women's lib, women's liberation. I thought that feminism was about equality. Um, saying that the coronavirus isn't killing enough men isn't very equal, is it? <gasps> oh, bugger! Bloody noise again. Is it worth me sneaking around? What do you think? Because there's three of them. <gasps> oh, bugger. I want to get a headshot. Mrs. Jones keeps saying I'll sound like Peter K. I don't know what it to the artist, the controller or the kind of beer. 
<laughs> I don't sound like Peter Kerr at all. What's Peter Kerr's a knob in anyway? Why this? Why this? Whoop. Watch my back. Check me out. Game God. I'll play a bit of pool while we're here. Now that pool table is a lot cleaner than some of them I've played on. Goodness me. Snow speed. Yeah. Just have a quick slurp of um, Mam Sigiwell. See anybody? It's a thing that I climb up on, but I can't. Can't see it. Can't see it through all the snow. I think it's winter. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, well, a bit of that. Well, I might as well just run there. Why is he on the outside? There's a glitch. Uh -oh. Hopefully, he's on the inside. There he is. Sounding do that lad. Let me run first. Let me run away. Hello, Ellie. No, just let me run. First time I had to get killed because it was a glitch. Hell, you keep surprising me. Oh, yes. Wanna avoid? 
avoid him. So we'll just roll that there for a piece. Shame you wouldn't come around. Hello, him. So <laughs> <sighs> Killed again. Gaming God. You know you keep surprising. Me. <sighs> I'm gonna have to edit this when you carry on. It's like about 20 goals when do this. Oh dear. Is he running? Whoops. What's he doing? Oh, it doesn't work now, does it not? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Three hours later. Oh, it's gone back to that. Oh, no, that's all right. Don't know where he is, though. Let's see. Idiots here, mate. Good. I see something there. Right? 
the ship door somewhere as well. Come out, you coward. So we get to spring. Because then it's a nice segue into the next one then. like smog bombs intensely. But we're gonna need them I think later on. Pretty sure. Healing speed, weapon sway. That's not what I wanted. And oh crikey. Not gonna land on me is he? to my bedroom. Sunny boy. Has he gone in? He thinks he has. Just walked over your buddy there, buddy. Ah. 
<laughs> Gotta love this game. You got to love this game. It's fantastic. Parts that will make you laugh, parts that will make you cry. You know, from what I've seen in gameplay part two, God, it looks fantastic, that game. It really does. I just hope I need to Sarkeesian hasn't had too much influence on it. This is like Clementine Ford's, like, you know, friend, buddy, whatever. Oh, his backpack. What is this? Where the hell is all this stuff here? Oh, Christ. Yeah. I gotta find her. I gotta find her. Yeah, come on, John, let's do it. This claim. Come on. Come on, let's go. It's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. <laughs> I guess not. Just not your style, is it? <laughs> you can try begging. Fuck you. Hmm. You think you know me? I think we can leave it there because obviously, obviously you've just seen it's springtime and we're on the last we're on the last leg of our journey so thank you very much for joining me don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this um yeah oh, oh, there was just one other thing um i want to thank clementine ford for making me swear thank you for that you abhorrent human being and just one other thing ta for a bit <laughs> <laughs>